this project started for our department kind of as a what if. We were posed the question, have you ever done an environment? And we all kind of sat around thinking about it. And then it transitioned itself into the how. All right, everybody, welcome to the model shop. This is where the magic's happening. We're gonna get the model all done and built entirely in this room by this team of people. We really had to determine scale, because with scale, set everything off after that. We settled on 20 for all the little tricks that us master builders use when designing. 20 times is just the perfect number. What do we mean by 20 times the size? This little tiny carrot fits right in the palm of your hand. When we do it 20 times the size, it needs its own table. If you look here on the roof, number five, this is what it looks like at 20 times the size. So even this cool little fireplace grate, we blew it up 20 times the size. And when all was said and done, I have to say, it looked great. We did 20 times for everything except for the minifigures. We went up to 24 times, which makes them about six inches taller. And he's holding a pretzel. So the dimensions of this model are 17 feet wide by 10 feet deep by seven and a half feet tall. I'm working on one of the four goblets. Right now, this is the base stand of it. This is a dream job working with Lego bricks. Every one of our designers that we have on staff was able to be part of some aspect of designing this model. So it really was an entire department being involved and having their hand in making this a success. This is a dream project for me. Right now I'm actually creating uh, Beaufort. You know, what is this figure going to be doing that's naturalistic? I want to give a pose to each one so it looks like there's some interaction going on. We're here at the end of week three, and we got two different bases started. We got a bunch of roof bricks and a ton of minifigure stuff all figured and ready to go. So here we got the right half of Bag N. It's the half of the house that has the big circle in the front. You can tell because right here in the model we have some gray, and right here in the little model we got some gray tile. Another cool thing we did with this model is we mixed Duplo and Lego. And what that does is it binds the walls to the interior structure of the model and gives it nice strength. If you look right here, this is the roof brick I just put on. It sits right below the window and it gives a nice place for Bill to put some flowers. We got all kinds of good stuff happening this week. We added in the cool lattice windows, the trim on the outside, and the big door. So right now I'm sitting on the side of the house that has the big iconic round door. As you can see, I'm pretty low to the ground. That's because I'm sitting on the base that this model will be permanently mounted on when it travels around on the road. But mentioned in the door, look how high we've gotten since last week. We're about layer 85, which brings us about halfway up the height of the model. Right here behind me, you can see Bilbo's fireplace. And above that is his chimney stack. And that's really cool, because it's made of this element that looks like it's got carved brick right in it. Okay, here we are in the middle of week five. The door over here is closing in. We got the steel mounted to the model and the base, and we're just about ready to take the glued sections we built and put them on so we can start making the roof. We started to add in some of the pre-built sections that we began the project with, and we really got to see the house take shape. We got the broom tied in. We got the chimney stack all done, down to the frying pan, which I think looks great. And over here, we got the big circular window. We started to add in the cool archways that are in the back, and then we put in the first layers of the roof. Then we took the two halves and we actually combined them together. So for the first time, we could stand in front of the model and see the final footprint and impact that people will experience. All right, here we are at the end of week six. And as you can see, we're standing in the warehouse, not the model shop. That's because we made a lot of big movements this week. We took the two halves, we put them together, then we transitioned that model out here so we can start to lay in the AstroTurf, mount the fence, and put in the pavers. That's really when the model comes alive. The, the house itself is awesome and really impressive, but once you start putting in the little knickknacks and food and minifigure, it just really takes on a life of its own.
We had a team of 12 dedicated people that were on this project from beginning to end, but we did have periods of time where that workforce would balloon up to 15, 16 people. So I can't tell you exactly how many bricks or elements are used to compose this model, but I can tell you the computer says that there's at least 2.5 million one by one Lego bricks in there. Just like the set is called The Unexpected Gathering, we in the shop had a bit of an unexpected gathering of our own. We took a large group of people and we merged them together so we could make this magical journey possible. As the designer who is taking that set and bringing it to a lifelike form in terms of its size and its scale, I wanted to make sure I brought as many of the cool elements that really define the set to life. Inside the house, we have the all-important book, we have the treasure chest. We have the dining table. We have a cool little porch light. We have lights in the fireplace, and there's also a light over the book on the bookshelf. We have all the little food elements that come in the set. There's a pretzel, there's a carrot, some apples. Great detail in all of the architectural elements of the house. The window frames and the lattice work. The coolest thing that you're going to see from a distance is we actually have smoke that comes out of the chimney. To me, it really is the ultimate expression of what LEGO is and its creativity and its fun and its combining all of these things from math to just enjoyment all at one time. To be part of something that has such an impact. I mean, if I was a kid going through this, it's like the ultimate role playing. You're in the set that you can actually own and play with the minifigures, but now you're one of the minifigures.